Hey, what's happening, everybody? All right. There's still a lot of people in my comments complaining about overheating issues with their Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a shame that here we are in 2024 that I'm having to make this type of video, but here it goes. Let me help you reduce overheating issues on your S24 Ultra. Now, you're going to come over here like this. You're going to come to your settings. You're going to come down here to your battery, and what you're going to do, you're going to come over here to your background usage limits, all right? So one of the things that I do is I put apps to sleep. Now, if you put them like, say, like, for example, if you go to deep sleeping apps, you'll see these apps that I have deep sleeping. These are just apps that I don't use, but they're there every once in a while because I want to see what they're doing. But for the most part, they're just there, all right? And that's the way it is. Now, what I recommend that you all do is do something less drastic, but it will still help. Now, sleeping apps will run in the background. Only occasionally, updates and notifications may be delayed. Now, unless it's like your Gmail, to me, Gmail is really important, or your messaging app, don't put it there. But like other apps that are just really not that, you know, like important, you know, then you can just stick them on there. And, the, and how you do it is like this. You just come over here like this, tap on something like that, add, and it and it gets added to the list. All right. So this right here, is, to me, is one of the best things that you can do, especially, look, I, I always have access to a charger or something, or I can, you know, say the phone's working harder than it should. I can plug it back in. But if you don't got time for all that, and honestly, I shouldn't have time for all that either, go ahead and just... Put as many apps as you can to sleep, not deep sleep, but sleep. And that should control the processes that you have going on in the background of your device. Now, the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to come over here to device care. Let me scroll down here like this. I want to come over here to device care. This is something that we all should be doing anyway, because that's why it's there. I know it's the year 2024. This thing should be optimizing itself. But let me see here what's going on like this. Go ahead and optimize now. Do that periodically. Look, if you're like me, you love being on your phones, who cares? Do it every day if you have to. I mean, I know. You shouldn't have to do it in the year 2024. It's where we're at, all right? Also, another thing that you can do whenever your phone is heating up, I recommend that you keep a close eye on your memory. See how much RAM is being used and see what's actually using the RAM. All right, and you can just see, like, for example, what I got going on there, which is kind of, yeah, weird, is because uh, I don't even use a Samsung keyboard. I'm using Gboard, but it's there, right? So you see what's going on. So, yes, I use Samsung Notes quite a bit. I don't use the Samsung keyboard unless there's some kind of weird API thing going on within the Samsung keyboard and the Samsung Notes. All right, so go ahead and clear whatever you're not. I know a lot of people will say, well, you just don't have to open it up all over again. Well, it all depends what app is using the most resources. You just want to close it out, all right? So that's what I recommend that you do, all right? So performance profile, I have mine set to standard. If you want to go to light, prioritize battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed, set yours to light, okay? Now, this setting does not apply to games. You can manage game performance and game booster settings. There's no way I'm going to, I'm going to like, uh, how do I say this? There's no way that I'm going to throttle my own phone whenever I'm playing games. I'm an Asphalt 9 fanatic. It's the way it is. But that's something else you can do to get better battery life and to possibly, you know, chill out with the whole, you know, with your phone overheating. You don't want to do that, all right? All right, so you got auto optimization. You can choose automatic optimization. So let me see here. So there it is. Device care automatically performs optimizations to keep your phone running smoothly. So you can choose auto restart. So if that's something that you do want to do, you can. Now, I prefer to restart my phone, my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. I try to restart it every four to five days. That's what I do. All right. So I recommend it's something that you guys do do too so it'll just keep your phone running a lot better so go ahead and follow these steps for now if it helps your device get stop with the overheating let me know in the comments i want to know what's going on with your s24 ultras i'm here to help this is what's going on thank you all for watching and i will catch all of you in the next one take care